Hey what's up guys this is Tyler and in this video I'm going to unbox and test a quadcopter with GPS and built-in HD camera called the Hobson X4 H502S. So let's start the video. So let me first do a complete unboxing so you know what you exactly get. Here we see some of the features like GPS, HD camera and automatic return to home. On the side we also see the controller which have a built in 4.3 inch LCD display. Hobson are known for building quality quadcopters and in the bottom of the package we also see that this one here is CE certified. So let's open the box and aha, uh -huh, here are already some important instructions how to mount the propellers correct and notice there are a type A and type B and here we have the quadcopter, the design looks pretty awesome, good build quality with a simple design. Important to say is also that this quadcopter is using brushed motors. Below we find the wireless controller which also has GPS built in and a yellow label that gives some tips and explain that it will need at least 6 satellites to work correct. The controller is made fully in plastic, it has two main steering controls and various buttons, a GPS on off switch and also one for the return to home and below buttons to capture pictures or videos, so important is that you always Press the video button again to end the video recording, else it may get lost. On the side we have the audio and video out, so you should be able to use some headphones and hear the audio coming from the quadcopter and also use some goggles and get the picture from the LCD displayed. On the other side there's a mini USB and micro SD card slot, so I'm not sure if these have any function or only for programming. But it would be nice if you could record the video shown on the LCD display with all the information directly to a card. On the back side you need to insert 4 1.5 volt AA batteries which are not included. So what do we else have? In the first box we have a USB cable with a special connector to charge the battery. The battery is CE certified and on 610 mAh and should be enough for about 12 to 13 minutes flight. You take the quadcopter and open the backside and here you have to insert the battery and then connect it with the red connector to the main board. In the second box there are some small screws, a screwdriver and 8 propellers but you of course only mount 4, the rest is just spare parts. And last we have a disclaimer warning. Hobson surely won't take any responsible for damage that you can make with this quadcopter. And last the instruction manual in English. Everything is described in detail here and easy to understand. Like for example how to mount the propellers, how to calibrate the quadcopter and how to use all the different functions and features. So let me pick up the quadcopter again and in the back side it is also possible to look directly into the main board. And it looks like a small micro USB port, so I'm not really sure what this is for, but it looks interesting. On the top it says X4 Desire. On the front we see the camera lens, so this should record in 720p HD. More to that later in my test flight. In the bottom again a CE logo, a QR code and it says made in China. And notice also the small micro SD card slot in the side. Here it will store the pictures and videos that you record. So it also has some LED indicators in red and blue. These can also be turned off via the controller, but here you see them turned on. Hold the left stick all down and click and hold the right down for one second to access a secret menu. So here you can set reverse controls, the sensitivity, the frequency, manual mode, or turn off the GPS and last we see the software version. So now let's try it outside and here you can see the display on. 
The camera is working and transmitting a live picture. The first you will see is the text saying Calibrate Compass 1. Then you have to turn the quadcopter around itself until it then display Calibrate Compass 2. Then you again pick up the quadcopter and this time you put it nose down and turn it clockwise again till the text is gone. In the left corner you here see that the quadcopter has locked 11 GPS signals and the controller has locked 9 GPS signals. Important to know is that it must have at least 6 before you can arm the quadcopter and the first time it has to find the GPS signals it can take some time. So here you see the altitude hold mode and you can also hear how loud the quadcopter is when it's in the air. As you can see it's very stable and reliable in this mode. By pressing the left stick down you activate the follow me feature. By using the home switch you can make it return to home. So to arm and start the quadcopter, you put both sticks down in the left and right corners. And let me now try some test flying. I have to say that I'm a totally beginner, so I'm going to fly easy and not too fast. So sorry for that if you are a pro. So that's it for the Hobson quadcopter review, a really nice beginner quadcopter with a lot of features to a good price, definitely a small quadcopter that I can recommend. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.